Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Delhi Cricket to Bouncy Wicket podcast. This is Manoj and I'm joined with Raja. Today we are doing the preview of Rajasthan Royals along with a super fan, Yashasvi, who's joining us from Nagda, Madhya Pradesh. Yashasvi happens to be a college mate and a long-time friend of ours. He's also very active on Twitter. Welcome to the show, Yashasvi. Thank you. Thank you, Manoj. All right. Yashasvi, before we dive in uh, to the discussion, dive into the discussion, tell us this. What made you follow Rajasthan Royals? How did it all start? So, Rajasthan is some team which which happened to be one of the lowest in their profile it got uh, i think uh, uh, the money during the inaugural ipl it was so less that's one of uh, that's one of the uh, what do you say you can say that it's the underdog team in the ipl history so that's what rajasthan royals is is all about uh, in the in the inaugural ipl and uh, till date i don't think that there is any other team in franchise cricket which has that uh, label on that so the way in which shane won molded the team the sh- uh, the way in which they won the first ipl which broke all the barriers of cricket in india post uh, the t20 world cup success for indian cricket team that's what rajasthan royals is all about and that made the that made me interested uh, to follow rajasthan royals all right this is we i agree with you um all right let's talk about the last season of rajasthan royals in uae um i if i could say rajasthan had perhaps the worst ipl in the entire ipl history yeah they ended up uh, yeah that's up, the worst ipl as so they ended up last in the last spot in the points table but they were in the hunt um, for the playoffs until the dying stages of the tournament so what are your thoughts what do you make of the last season so uh, you if you can see the points table the team finished at the 8th 8th position but the miraculously if they win one more game they could have been in fifth spot or fourth spot so that's how close true, ipl true. 2020 was so it doesn't matter that they were last but the important thing is success they had with core players which have emerged like josh butler ben stokes and jofra archer in the in the team especially after this 2019 uh, world cup success so they have been the uh, means they have emerged as a core group on which rr will bank on even after this ipl 2021 these three players will feature probably for next 10 years if i am not wrong uh, if they were banked i agree with you um, so what do you think are the problem areas that rajasthan royals had last season and have they addressed it uh, in the recently concluded auctions so i see that they have uh, bought a, a quite good a bunch of players so uh, you know it's a mix of good overseas and local players do you think they've addressed uh, their issues uh, they have addressed their issues but the major problem which is still with rr is uh, middle order so what they did is they have swapped uh, josh butler to ben stokes uh, later in the season ben uh, josh butler performed very well in the initial stages but later they they swapped him with ben stokes ben stokes came as an opener he he had i think if i am not wrong he has a century against uh, mumbai indians also so that is almost chasing 190 plus uh, in abu dhabi so that's not an easy place to hit success against a quality team like mumbai so uh, so in the recent uh, interview with sky sports eon morgan actually discussing their t20 ca- world cup campaign later in this year he mentioned that uh, ben stokes son uh, josh butler are going to open for the rr so that's something which was a means which was a reveal from an outsider that too from kkr that these two mm-hmm. players are going to open this season for rr so that's something which is which we which the team will bank on the for the whole season so these two players will open and if one of them can carry on to bat until 16th over so you may see one of them hitting at least 80 plus runs so their style of play their the way in which they approach the uh, while chasing a target or uh, putting on a score it's going to be a massive headache for any bowler if one of these two players can 
settle in and go big you we have seen that from butler right from the i think uh, when he was in mumbai indians also some 3 years ago he did that and he did some at least 7 to 8 times for rr also so stokes was a revelation last year even in the second odi also we have seen stokes hitting some of the cleanest sixes over long on and over deep mid wicket over long off anywhere you know so stokes is some of the best players and he is an champion so the problem areas in the middle i don't think they have addressed they are they are just hoping for some miracle from sanju samson hopefully he can do some 30 balls 50 some 40 balls 60s or 70 something like that and they have got chris morris this year i think he was picked for 16.5 cr which was the i think after yuvraj singh he was the uh, highest pick uh, in an auction so they were expecting him to be a finisher i do think middle order is one of the weak links at the moment and they will surely try to you know overcome that with the players that they have picked uh, all right let's move on so do you have any player to watch out for uh, in this season uh, be it the already retained players or the players that they picked yeah the most important player uh, to watch out is obviously ben stokes so ben stokes is someone who can give you at least 2 to 3 hours in the middle and who is going to be an opener this year so it's going to be uh, if uh, if you can remember uh, during 2017 ipl i think uh, rps rising pune super giant they were in final and uh, i don't think ben stokes played in that final but still he was the mvp that year means that's the first season of for ben stokes and he was an mvp that's something which which uh, which which is the caliber of ben stokes the way in which he can impact the game with the ball with the bat and on the field as a fielder in the deep so he is someone who is irre- irreplaceable ben stokes is a great player and i'm uh, you know i we all I, he'll be looking forward to uh, you know uh, have a great run this year okay so what do you uh, what are your expectations uh, on this team uh, this year i mean will they may, will they make it to the playoffs do they have it in them to make it to the playoffs what do you think yeah uh, they can make it to the playoffs uh, it all depends on how well jofra archer bowls his four overs so jofra archer is going uh, is going to available i think after 10 10 or 15 days to the ipl he may miss first four to five matches if rr can win at least two to three in those first five matches jofra archer is going to come and play and uh, so the whole uh, success for rr depends on how well the english players perform so there are there are some i think four english players in the squad and three of them are Uh, what they are the core group for the england cricket team uh, so jofra archer is an impactful player and how if he can pick at least one to two wickets in the power play and if he can bowl very good death bowling at uh, after 15 overs so it's going it's not going to be easy for any team to face these players so apart from sanju samson who was made as a captain i am not sure if a, it's a very huge responsibility on sanju samson provided the performances which he made they were just hoping that he recreates what shreya sir recreated in the last two years for dc so that's something what rr management is all hoping for this year so i will not be surprised if they perform not so good in the first 6 to 7 matches they may replace him with josh butler they may replace him i am not sure but uh, but they may if provided the scenario in which the team poises true true uh, i think if if rajasthan plays to their 
full potential uh, let alone uh, making it to the fi- uh, playoffs they can go on and win the tournament all right having said that so what do you think will be the playing 11 you know uh, with which the rajasthan will start considering that they will play the first uh, five games in mumbai what do you think is the 11 that they will start with the playing 11 could be uh, josh butler and ben stokes opening so that's re- uh, right and left combination which is going to be a headache for any uh, fielding team that to international the caliber in which they bat so sanju samson is going to be at number 3 from the from sanju samson obviously there will be uh, means the lesser experienced players who who may not uh, who are pretty much new they may do well but uh, they are not bankable unlike any other team where they will have any at least one or two bankable players who at international level uh unfortunately ara doesn't have that and they are obviously the top heavy team where the top 3 players have to stay till the at least 18th over of the game so josh butler ben stokes sanju samson will be at number 3 rian parag who is uh, an exciting talent from assam at number 4 and then there could be three all rounders rahul tevadia shivam dubey chris morris these three can feature in at the middle order shreyas gopal can be a leg spinner andrew tai because jofra archer is not available for the first four to five games jaydev and unnat kad who is a seasoned workhorse for rr since i think for uh, last 6 to 7 years and uh, then kartik tyagi who is also a pacer who can bowl at least 140 145 clicks quite inexperienced team but still they can make on big only with these uh, uh, english star players all right yeah so that seems to be a super 11 on the paper at least with this let me open up the forum yeah. for, forum for some more questions So, if the panel has any questions, yeah. please go ahead. Oh, that was a fascinating discussion, guys. Uh, so, I have a point uh, that I wanted to ask you. So, we know that uh, you've already addressed it uh, in the discussion uh, just now that uh, Jofra Archer wouldn't be available for the first uh, few games, and added to that, uh, Mustafa Zur Rahman is also not available for the first uh, two games, uh, if I'm not wrong. And uh, then uh, Morris, Chris Morris, hasn't played after the last IPL. So, uh, considering all these issues, uh, do you think uh, it would be a problem for uh, Rajasthan Royals, uh, say, even the in the in- initial set of games, because uh, if there is not uh, yeah, the coming off injuries yeah. or from uh, you know like a lack of uh, game time? I don't see this team defending one sixty, one fifty ish scores. Means that's very hard for this bowling lineup to defend on. Which is that too? If they are playing in Mumbai first set of games, obviously it's it's too due can be an important factor during this summer. Obviously the if they are going to play, if they are going to defend a total in Mumbai at this point of time, it's going to be a hell of an effort from these players. And it's uh, important how Sanju Samson kept. captains this team so uh, you know you brought up sanju samson the thing is that uh, if sanju Sam- you know like uh, if uh, say oin morgan misses out the first Hello. four games for kkr so we have a opportunity of having like five different uh, keeper uh, keeper captains uh, in the league you know coming from days where uh, keeper captains used to be a rarity and to five uh, you know five franchises having a uh, wicketkeeper captains is a huge uh, deal that's an interesting step which you said yes uh, to to your point on the on the bowlers uh, raja i think with the absence of uh, you know uh, jofra archer and mustafa zur you know the, it's, it's a, it pro, it uh, presents it uh, presents a great opportunity to the young quicks uh, for example kartik tyagi you know and jayda unatkat who've been subpar in the last uh, ipls so i think it's a great opportunity um, they have to step up their game and really you know, uh, you know it's, it's a great chance for them to uh, uh, prove prove a point definitely unatkat is someone rr is banking on I can remember him playing for RR. I think back in 2013, 14 also. Means it's the franchise has a means he his his affinity with uh, this franchise is somewhat uh, more than seven to eight years old. Correct, correct. So I think it's time for him to have a good season. So I think he had a good season with RPS. Means when I think in 2016 or 17, when he was with RPS, he had a good season. Right. and that i think that's the reason why he was uh, what do you say 
uh, why his purse got so big means why he was uh, picked about the spin combination of guys like uh, tevatia shreyas gopal uh, riyan parag and mayank markande is also in the squad Uh, and they picked up uh, KC Kariyappa this time. Uh, it's not a threatening uh, spin uh, segment, do you think? What, what do you guys think about it? I think they instead I of. I think uh, uh, Shreya Skopal has a very much ordinary season in 2020. I think in 2019 he was good. Right. Means he had a good uh, season where he, I think he had picked some 16 or 18 wickets in 2019 IPL. RR will be hoping him. getting some wickets post power play he is going to be bowling after 6th over like any other leg spinner yes i have one question from my side uh, we all know that now uh, you know sanju samson has been interested with this captaincy role so what do you think will will he enjoy this role uh, or do you, do you see this is uh, this as an added responsibility yeah sanju samson has has this thing with him means uh, if he hits the ball he is one of the sweetest timers means uh, he is one he is he is he is the kind of player who can, whom we can call as a successor to the rohit sharma so he has that elegance in him he has that extra bit of time compared to many other players like inzamul haq rohit sharma so these players have that uh, elegance with him how he performs with the bat is one of the interesting facets of his definition of captaincy he is now 26 years old if he can has a if he can have a very good ipl this year with the bat obviously he will be backed as a captain for rr i do agree with uh, what yes we have said to an extent that uh, i think rr rajasthan saw uh, in sanju samson something they wanted to retain for uh, a long time and also someone that uh, they wanted to uh, grow into the kind of leader that uh, say someone like Shreya Sayer has gotten into he he's he's a uh, he's a mercurial batsman in the sense that he is very uh, when he looks good when he is gets going he looks really good and when he gets out he looks really bad and added to that the burden of captaincy might just uh, you know make things a little more difficult for him in his head but uh, on the other flip side of it it may also get him that uh, rest responsibility to play longer and stay longer because uh, what happens is that he is either uh, gets going or gets out so maybe that switch will uh, happen um, but it's yet a uh, it's yet something that we need to look at uh, but i i thought that uh, letting steve smith go in itself was a bit of a shocker and but even if a captaincy had to be handed out maybe jos butler would have been a better choice another point was that guys uh, you know like we we talked about so many different aspects of uh, rajasthan royals but uh, we haven't talked about the most uh, brilliant part of uh, our rr's campaign last year which was the evolution of uh, rahul tevatia you know they bought him in the 2020 or just before the auction at uh, 75 lakhs and he uh, repaid it uh, by heaps and bounds by scoring uh, runs around uh, 240 250 runs at uh, 140 strike rate and taking 10 wickets at a very good economy rate of 7 uh, so a uh, word on rahul tevatia uh, Ra- rahul tevatia is some of the exciting talents uh, he can be a finisher and he can bowl at least 2 to 3 overs that's something uh, which we can expect from rahul tevatia manoj what are your thoughts uh, thanks raja from uh, for bringing up this point yeah i agree i mean he has been a sort of revelation in the uh, in the last season i think uh, yeah. if he performs consistently even this year he would be soon in the you know you never know in the indian t20 side another point that i wanted to ask was that uh, biggest stories to come out of the 2020 uh, uh, ipl auction was that uh, uh, rr had purchased uh, guys someone like yashasvi jaiswal for a lot of money uh, around uh, running into crores and but he ended up playing only two two games uh, if i'm not wrong so do you think uh, there is a scope for giving him a, a bit more opportunity and uh, maybe uh, uh, give him a bit of a run because uh, the tournament again it's being played in uh, uh, most of he they're starting off their campaign in mumbai so he's as a local boy do you think there is an opportunity for uh, yashasvi jaiswal to get a spot here yeah he is an under he, he has a very good uh, under 19 tournament and uh, even though india lost he was a he was an ex- he's an exciting talent for india in the future but it's not easy for him because obviously pacers are going to get him means i think last year he was he played only three games two or three games because the whole reason is he he's unable to 
add that value in the team means he is unable to hit those boundaries bowlers are bowling short to him he is quite tend to face those quickies in the power play so it's unlikely for jaswi uh, jaiswal to open the innings with any of these two players all right jaiswi yes, so with that i would like to bring this episode to a close thanks a lot for your great insights jaiswi yes, that's all for this week guys yeah thank you catch you on another episode of kali cricket to bounce weekend podcast bye bye